Civil rights activist Reverend Shane Harris is asking county supervisors to implement a new policy that would prevent people from using the public comment portion of supervisors' meetings to incite racism. And then Wooten, your on. Tuesday night's Board of Supervisors meeting got heated. This man, Jason Robo, was one of 70 people to speak during public comment on an item related to a COVID-19 vaccine mandate for new hires in the county. I'm going to ask you to apologize to her. No. You are not a you to to her that way. She started saying uh, a lot of different uh, really horrible things about my other colleagues and myself. Um, and then as soon as he made the comment to Dr. Wooten uh, that was completely racist, I just told them to stop. I actually thank her for doing what she did. Now I'm asking the Board of Supervisors to implement a policy. In this letter to county supervisors, Reverend Shane Harris is now asking them to cut the mic if anyone makes racial slurs or comments inciting racism. He also suggests a three-strike policy for those who use racial inciting phrases, which would prevent them from attending future meetings in chambers. Using the language that you're going to call a black woman who is not a county supervisor, a Aunt Jemima, that is racial inciting. Vargas and Harris agree free speech is important, yet hate speech should be stopped. I strongly believe that there is no space mm. for hate speech in civil discourse. This kind of assault on a black woman, that this kind of assault on a public health officer will not be tolerated by the community. Dr. Wilma Wooten is the county's top doctor and has been with the County of San Diego's Health and Human Services Agency for two decades. I have thick skin, but when you cross the line and make a racist, derogatory comment directly at our director because she's an African American, I'm not going to stand for it. And I didn't. We have reached out to the county supervisors to get their reaction to this policy request. However, they have not returned our calls as they have been in a closed session for the day. Reporting along the Embarcadero, Ashley Jacobs, Fox 5 News.